R448A Scroll Series Refrigeration System. General safety information. Installation, maintenance, and servicing are to be performed only by trained and qualified personnel familiar with commercial walk-in products. Ensure that all field wiring conforms to the equipment requirements in all applicable local and national codes. Disconnect all power sources before servicing the unit. Sheet metal and coil surfaces have sharp edges. Use appropriate protective gloves to prevent injury. Use appropriate eye protection during installation and servicing. Condensing units. All 448A condense units will be scroll series refrigeration systems. Refrigerant general information. R448A, class HFC, HFO, refrigerant type, zeotropic blend, typical lubricant, POE or polyester oil, and it replaces R22 and R404A. Scroll compressors available in 3 quarter horsepower up to 13 horsepower. Air cooled, water cooled applications available. Three models PR, PC, and PCL. The PR, pre assembled remote nitrogen charge. PC, pre charged for use up to 50 foot of line set. PCL, pre charged for use with provided line set. Condenser coils R448A condensers have two inlets and two outlets. There's the condenser inlet, subcooling inlet, condenser outlet, subcooling outlet. Some basic questions. Is there a subcooling loop added to your condenser coil? And the answer is yes. When is that subcooling loop used? It's used continuously. Why did you add a subcooling loop? To gain evaporator BTU capacity with the R448A refrigerant. A check valve is implemented on new R448 systems. Non-return check valve prevents reversal flow, prevents condenser flooding, directional flow with refrigerant. Pressure controls. Low pressure safety control. Low temp freezer application. It's an adjustable control. Brazing cap tube with a cut in at 15 psi, cut out at 1 psi, and we'll have blue wires. Low pressure safety control location for the low temp freezer is mounted behind the electrical box on the condensing unit base. Low pressure safety control for medium temp cooler, non adjustable, braze in, cut in at 24 psi, cut out at 12 psi, and we'll have red wires. The low pressure safety control location for the medium temp cooler is brazed into a port on the suction line. High pressure safety control. Non-adjustable, braze in, cut in at 325 PSI, cut out at 425 PSI, and should have orange wiring. High pressure safety control location. It's brazed to a T on the discharge line between the compressor and condenser outlet. We utilize two low ambient controls, the headmaster control and the fan cycle control. The headmaster control has three ports, the PSI rating of 210 and is non-adjustable. Headmaster control location. It's mounted in between the condenser outlet and receiver inlet. The fan cycle control is a non adjustable braze in. It's cut in at 235 psi, cut out at 150 psi, and will have yellow wiring. Fan cycle control location is brazed to a T on the discharge line between the compressor and the condenser inlet. R448 evaporator hole. chart for proper discharge pressures if applicable reference low ambient control settings recommended superheat 4 to 8 you can visit our website for more installation videos at www.colpac.com or call 1-800-225-9916 for more information